Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. Today we're gonna to put together Aladdin, well, the genie from Aladdin. Uh, so the, the big blue guy, it's so cute. I love this sign and I haven't done it in well over a year. So I started from scratch. I redid the SVG um, design within Design Space because I felt like, you know, since it's been a year, I've changed so many different things that I've done with the off the mat characters, um, you know, to try to make it really big, but seamless and all that good stuff. So we started over, that Design Space tutorial is up, and now we're gonna put it together. Um, I'm going a little bit out of order because normally we put together the background and then we start piecing everything together, but I am, out of my mind with this gold foil right here with the name. So we're gonna do the name first because I'm so darn excited about it. I am using, so I love gold on gold to begin with. I never thought I would say that, but um, I love this look. So this is gold on gold on gold. <laughs> and it's gonna be on gold again because, so what happened was I cut this out originally and there was a lot going on in my art room. I wasn't paying attention. I checked just one corner to see if it cut through. And normally I look for a little bit more because sometimes when it doesn't cut through, there are still sections that looks like it cut through, right? So I only checked a small portion. I pulled it off the mat. And of course it didn't cut all the way through. And I just did not want to take my X-Acto knife and try to do this, especially because the name is so delicate. So you can see what I wanted to do was to save paper. And then in the end, I didn't save paper because I wanted this piece to come from inside the offset. So I thought I was saving paper, but then I recut it anyway. <laughs> but this is what I meant to do, right? So this is the back layer this fits on top so i could have taken out this middle thing and no one would know better and i was saving paper but i didn't cut well but uh we're still gonna use it we're gonna make this the bottom layer so it's just gonna have this really expensive look to it because it's just gonna have so many layers um this one is not gonna really be showing from like with if you're looking face on, but from the side, you'll be able to see that there's an extra layer. And why not? Because I already have this and it's useless the way it is. And useless not in a good way. <laughs> um, all right, so let's do that. Um, this is just looking, I just love the way this looks. And can you see the shine? So this is basil, basil paper, which is, um, you know, I love this gold foil. They call it gold foil. Cricut has gold metallic paper, which I've been using for a long time, which I was in love with until I got this one. The difference is this one, the best way I can describe it is this just feels like a little bit more expensive. The, like it, the reflection in it is more clear. So um, the other one, it's like, yeah, I can make out the shape of my face and the colors, but it's a really blurred look. This one is very shiny. It's almost mirror-like, and you can see that when the light shines on it. It is beautiful paper. I just cannot get over it. And it's so beautiful that this is what I did. See, I like to show you, like, when I see something, I so mean it. <laughs> so I cut this out. This was, like, bad part anyway. I cut it out. I'm saving this so I know exactly what to order, the paper number and everything. So, um, all right. I will link in there to 12 by 12 cardstock because that's where I got it from. All right, let's do this thing. So first thing is anything going on glitter paper, I'm always worried about just using double-sided tape. Plus, this Ben is so thin, right? So like I wouldn't, it would be really tough to do some sort of glue or tape. I'm gonna use um, my glue gun. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna move this off here just so that I don't ruin anything. And I'm going to put it down like where I like it and then I'm gonna bend it up a little bit and I'm gonna glue down pieces at a time just so that things don't move and that I have a really good grip on this. 
and I can see my fingerprints on here. It's not showing in the camera, I can see that, but um, we're going to have to take, I'll put like a Q-tip with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on there to clean this up. But I mean, that's how clear and beautiful this paper is. All right, so I'm gonna flip it over this way so that it's easier for me to apply the glue onto here. But now that it's stable, like where it's supposed to be, I'm not worried about not seeing it. Okay, I'm gonna flip this back over for a second. That all looks good. I need to put more of a glue stick in. All right, here we go. And then I'm gonna get this last part, this little swirl part right here. in love with this thing so beautiful all right so let's do these two layers so i'm gonna want some lift between these two so i'm gonna flip this over and put i'm gonna use these squares right here so we'll just go all around adding a bunch of foam tape so this foam tape i got from the dollar tree it's probably i mean it sounds like it's cheap because it's a buck but you don't get that much from it i still need to do a comparison i bought some from amazon and i just haven't done the the price analysis yet to tell you which one's better and honestly because i'm using these i just have not had a chance to with this is i haven't been able to test the durability like does it stay stuck very well i'm not sure and because i'm not sure what i have been doing um and so maybe you guys can tell me if you're using this, because I know a lot of people use this. I've seen it on Instagram. I've seen people say that they use it. Um, let me know if it sticks well or not. But because I'm not sure, and this is going off in the mail, I always use this and I use the hot glue gun just to make sure that it stays um, and it's not gonna fall off. So that's what I've been doing. <laughs> A little bit of extra work extra prote protection all right so you want to put enough of the foam tape around so that it supports this long um, piece because this whole thing is 11 and a half inches long I mean it's a big it's a big piece so you don't want it to lay flat in some areas Okay, so I think that looks good. So let's put this on top of this one. So beautiful, so you can see there. So what I'm doing now is I put it on first and then I'm gonna glue it right now, so. And remember, nothing's gonna show on there in the middle. So we can glue right here in the middle to make sure that it stays and we should be good. And I'm just being overprotective. This should be fine. I'm putting down a lot of glue all over. All right, and the glare is like killing my eyes right now. Okay, <laughs> all right, so that's down. Let's put this on. Now this one, I'm gonna want some more extra layers. Like, an, So I'm gonna double up my foam tape. So I'm gonna put foam tape down and then um, put another layer right on top. Oh, that must be killing you guys, hold on. Let me move that, okay. And you can see the glue strips, that's not gonna be a problem because we're gonna put this on top. And remember this as well, you're gonna want support more than just in the middle. So we're gonna put this down in the middle. 
put another piece right on top. Now this roll I got also from the Dollar Tree. So again, I haven't really tested it out. And because um, this will have double the, the thickness as the other one, we'll be able to easily put our glue gun in between the layers and add the glue at that point. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit right here. I think that should be well supported. All right, so let's put this down. Oh, that fell down before I was ready. Okay, so now you can see this name. You could just see the layers. It's, it's, it looks really, really good. All right, so this bottom layer right here didn't cut all that well, remember? That was the problem I had. So I can see it right here. I'm just gonna take my the Cricut blade and kind of get rid of that white that's coming through. Okay, that should be enough. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> All right, let's put this down. On um, this one, I'm definitely, so what's nice about this one is Ben, the B-E-N, fits in this middle piece right here, so it's gonna be easy to line up and then the extra swirls. So on this font, this is funny, um, I didn't do this in Design Space because I wasn't sure what name or what we were putting in the middle. Originally, we were gonna go with that phrase, um, the, the one about, you know, you ain't got a friend like this, but it was it was gonna be too long for this space. I thought it was gonna look better with a big name, so I didn't do that. But I will do another tutorial on using, sorry, I'm cleaning up the glue, it's driving me crazy. Um, I For the glyphs, I have been now using main type. If you don't have that, it's a free download on your desktop. Um, that's how you get all your swirls and stuff. So this is the crazy thing. The B is from Berthella and the E and the N is from Bohemia. Cause I didn't like the B from Bohemia, but I like the E and the N. So <laughs> just know you can mix like that, right? And you can still get all the swirls. So the swirls look a little different, but I feel like this name totally goes with the font, even though it's two different fonts. So I will definitely do a quick tutorial on that as well. Okay, so I'm seeing some white coming through right here. So I wanna get my, here's my little piece again and just clean this up while I can before I put it down. Okay. All right, so on this, of course, I'm gonna want to layer it again. So I'm gonna do double as well. We're going to do on the ends. Got that down and it feels sturdy, stable. Um, so because I'm mailing this and you'll see in a second, this genie character has that little tail thing up here. So I needed to make sure that it was gonna survive in the mail. So, I, so this project is not as big as I normally make it. It's just a little bit short. So it's 25 by 20 inches. So it's still sizable. I mean, just this part with the name is already kind of big as you can see, right? Um, so sometimes you just gotta cut back because I would hate to see it damaged. And then also for that little, that little piece of the hair, I don't know, it probably would have added like another $15 to the shipping or something crazy like that, so. All right, we're 
almost there. Okay, so that's all done. Now I'm gonna put down my glue because I definitely wanna make sure this stays on one side of each of the pieces of tape, or in this case, I'm gonna do two sides because it's bigger. You can see I'm putting it down so it's, I'm putting down a lot of glue so that it's definitely gonna cover that. All right, I'm gonna flip it over, get it in that space that I want, and then I should have, okay. Ah, you can love this. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so we're gonna put this aside, continue working. Okay, hold on. So this is what he looks like, right? So I'm gonna move all these pieces down. So you can see, oh here, let me show you. The background is six black pieces. I did do it in glitter cardstock because the hair is black, his beard is black, and so whenever I feel like the black background is more than just the black background, I do like to use glitter cardstock just to make it consistent and easy and also seamless. Now, the only parts that I do have seams is in the black cardstock, the black glitter cardstock. Nothing else, everything else, um, was truly seamless. It cut on one sheet of cardstock. So it's going to look amazing. Um, we're gonna try to make it so that you can't even see the seams on the black glitter cardstock. Because if you remember, this part right here is the big sign. Only like this much is at the edge that's gonna show. And I don't even think you're gonna notice it because it's black glitter cardstock. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna keep this up here for a minute. These pieces down here, flip it over and we're going to tape from the back first so i'm using regular scotch tape i like to tape two pieces down at one time okay so i'm going to move this up a little bit so i'm going to take this piece and tape it to this one so i want to push against this piece this piece is being pushed against this one i want to make sure it's lined up and i'm taping it really really well it's especially at the edges, because that's where I don't want any flapping going on. Okay, so that's down. I'm gonna do this piece. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna lift up a little bit, push against it to make sure that I have a really good fit. And then I'm gonna tape it down. And also just make sure that your tape doesn't go past the glitter cardstock. You're gonna be able to see it. So, all right, now I'm gonna put these two together. And remember, really the only places that you're that's not gonna have a piece on top is at the edge, right? Because this is part of the, the outline. Um, everything else should pretty much have a color on it. And all the colored pieces, like I was saying, are seamless, so this this sign is gonna look so good. All right, let's do this one. And this is, I mean, I love the Aladdin theme, Princess Jasmine theme, because um, I did Jasmine, of course, many different ways. I did a toddler version, a full version. I also did Baby Raja, and all so beautiful. I. I don't think I can convince my daughter to do an Aladdin theme party, but the colors, I mean, just the color combination of Raja with that gold and orange glitter cardstock with the black, it, he's beautiful. All right, so this piece is almost all done. I guess I'm gonna take this off, all right. Not too hard to put back together. I should have just taken it off. Now, the other thing is, if you notice, he was kind of put together because once I cut it off, once I um, actually cut it, I take it off the cutting mat and I assemble it to make sure that the colors are right and everything cut correctly. Um, you know, because if you need to recut, you want to recut it at that moment. Um, and in this case, it turned out that I did need to do the inside of his mouth a different shade of red than the tongue because it looked really weird being all one color. And I was, um, the design recommended that. 
it had it as two colors but i was thinking oh why like it's all red and so i didn't want to cut it multiple times so i made it all one red and then ended up having to redo it so but it's a good time to make sure that all your pieces are there and if you need to recut anything that is definitely the easiest time to do it because you have all your cardstock out and you just cut okay so this is pretty much taped down. I'm going to tape this just a little bit more. So you can see it's not, not anything amazing. We're just taping it up so that we can put things down. The other thing is this back side is what we're going to put the hot glue gun on to go onto the actual foam board to make it sturdy. And when it's on the foam board, and I buy this foam board from the Dollar Tree, it's 20 by 30 inches. It's a dollar. It's the cheapest thing I've ever seen. Um, so when you put it on the foam board, then it can stay propped up against a table or like the shelf that I have here. So both Frida and that Sugar Skull, those are, they're both 30 inches. So they're sizable, if you can see. Um, and they stand propped up all year long. <laughs> so it's totally sturdy once you do that. Okay, so this is down. I'm gonna move this off the board because we're not gonna use the board right now. I'm gonna put this back down. Now we're gonna reassemble again because even though this piece right here looks like it's really obvious like where everything goes, you really do need to just put it down to make sure that it all fits and it's looking right. Um, trust me on that, okay. Here is the rest of him. So I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna put it to the side, but um, he's got you know the two arms and the face. The face we have down, but this is just, I just think it's so cute. Okay, so on this gold, I think the way it's designed is there's a little bit of black showing in between the blue and the gold as well. So it's gonna look something like that. Okay, then Let's put his face down. And this blue paper is from a 12 by 12 pad from Michaels. It's usually $20 and I wait till it goes on sale for like $5 and that's when I buy them. And so I don't have the exact color for you, but um, with these characters, because I always, I usually do custom orders. Um, I don't have like a set uh, colors that I go to for certain things. I always just at that moment decide like, okay, I think this color will work. Oh my gosh. And if you're wondering what that was, that was the We Are Memory Keepers Quick Stick. It has putty on one side and on this side is like silicone so you can push things and whatever. I love this little guy. That one is a keeper. <laughs> okay, let's see. This goes like, no, let me see. Whoa, almost break myself. Let me pull up the, I already forgot what he looks like. You know, I forget the inside. Sorry, I'm pulling it up on my computer screen right now. Okay, while we're doing that, let me put the rest of him down. All right, so let's do his arms. So you can see, here's like the line right here, right, the seams. It's going to be covered. This seam down here running down is completely covered as well as this seam. So. Again, at 20 by 30, he's still gonna look really, really seamless. All right, let's see where he... it's coming. I am, I don't know how I'm 
so bad at puzzle pieces, but love off the mat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sorry, let me get to, I'm bringing up design space. I'm almost there. And I hate this part because, because it's not taped down, so the pieces sort of still move around. It drives me insane trying to line things up. But like I said, it's still really important just to make sure that you don't end up kind of lopsided somewhere. Now this gold bracelet, I didn't like it the first time because it's in four pieces, but there's no gaps. It should be one whole piece, but I get it. You lose the details if you have it like that. All right, so that's his arm. And see how that is too thick right there? So we need to move this up a little bit. Okay, um, let's see. All right, I'm still bringing him up. Sorry, it's taking so long, but we're almost there. Okay, we've got the tongue. Okay, so let me type in genie. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then where is my little red piece that we had? Remember, I moved it over. Oh man, I moved it and lost it. All right, I'm gonna. There's a little red piece that goes right there, which I don't think we would really notice it, except that I know I cut it and I've been keeping track of it. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Let's get this piece down. Hopefully, it'll pop up. I'm almost tempted to take this piece out and tape it together just so that it's one piece instead of four pieces like I did over here. So you can kind of see that. All right, so he looks pretty good. Let's see, that's his beard. I'm gonna move it down a little bit so you can see. I mean, he looks pretty Pretty good. I don't know if there's many adjustments to make. Let's move this down a little bit. I'm not too worried about the inside because that we can fix afterwards. I'm more concerned about these bigger pieces because once we lay it down, it's down. So. Looking on camera too. I don't know, does that look good? I feel like it looks good, right? It's totally the genie. I think it's so beautiful. 
Okay, so because we've got this like, it's a little bit difficult. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue down this gold first and I'm gonna put my hand down to hold, hold it in place and then I'm gonna take this and glue it, okay. And I'm gonna glue it in, in just a few places. And then what I'm also gonna use is I'm gonna use little, um, uh, the glue dots, so it's double-sided, and I'm gonna stick it in between. So not the whole thing is gonna be glued down, but enough of it's gonna be glued down so it's not moving. And then I don't want it kind of like flapping and lifting, so that's what we're gonna use the double, the glue dots for. I really don't wanna flip this over because it's such a long piece that if I put some sort of like double-sided tape or any, or glue, I feel like it's gonna dry too quickly before I can put it down and line it up properly. So that's why I'm, I'm sort of gluing it in pieces right now, which is a little bit different than what we normally do. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's, um, oh man, I hope I still have some. Do I have it over here? Oh yeah, here it is. So they're glue dots, it comes like this. And so when you lift it up, you have like one little glue dot at a time. So I'm gonna use the, the little, like tweezers or whatever and I'm gonna lift it up so you can see it's just a little piece and I'm gonna put it in in between because I put glue down in four spots in each of the four like quadrants so I'm gonna probably put these down in the in between each one so like right here right here right here and right here now this big guy what I what we can do is we could just lift up and put down a lot of a lot of glue from the glue gun because it's just one solid piece. Um, it's so pretty. I love this. Okay, let's continue doing this just to make sure that it's all down. You can kind of lift up, now that we know where we taped everything, kind of lift up and glue some more if we need to. Okay. And we'll test this at the end. I always like start, you know, picking out things to see. All right, but I'm moving my pieces around, so give me a second. Okay, so let's get this big blue piece down. Just make sure that it's evenly showing the black all the, all the way around. And this is white court paper, so I can see a little bit of the white. So I'm just taking my fingernail and sort of scraping it off a little bit. Okay, so I think, let me move this up so we can really see it in the camera, okay. Um, I like the way this looks. I'm going to hold this down and I'm going to glue this portion down. So 
So I'm going to do this. And I love using the dark. You got to be careful when you use your hot glue gun because it can change your paper and it can show through. But because I'm using glitter cardstock, oh man, did this move on me? It did move on me a little bit. It moved a lot on me right here. Shoot. Oh, I can't lift that up. I think it shifted on me a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking down at this just to see. Oh, I can't move it. Okay. All right, so let's finish gluing down this piece. And you want to be careful because your glue is going to drip down so that you don't, one, get yourself, and then two, um, have it drip on some place that you don't want it to drip. Okay. So that's all down. I totally shifted on me. I'm not really sure what else I can do from this. Um, okay. So let's look at the rest of this. And things have moved, so. Now this is light blue paper, so I am gonna switch out my glue. I'm not gonna use my glue gun because I think it's going to change the color of my light blue. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm gonna use Beacon 3 and 1 glue. So let's make sure that this all looks good. I feel like it looks good right now, okay. So here is the glue that I'm gonna use. This dries super quick and it dries clear. So I like that. And I'm really messy when it comes to glue. So when I use like this with this glue, when it gets on my hands, it still dries really quickly. So I'm not spreading it onto other things. So I'll show you in a second, you'll see. Okay, so let's do this finger first. And on this, these pieces, I'm probably just gonna lift up a little bit and get it down. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. Yeah, I didn't get enough on there. Okay, so I think on this one, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna glue down one piece at a time. This one, because it's gold glitter cardstock, I am gonna use my glue, uh, my glue gun. And I'll stick another piece in here, okay. And I'm gonna use my tweezers like that.
so we're just gluing we're gonna go all the way around I am gonna show you how to do the foam board but I can talk you through it for those that are like get the process so with the foam board now that we have that um, the whole piece right um, what you want to do is you want to lay it down on your foam board and then you're going you're going to take a white pencil and draw an outline and then you're going to cut slightly inside of the outline because we don't need the board to cover it 100%. You only need to cover it 90% if that. I think you can cover even less than that and still make it really sturdy and stable. So by cutting inside a little bit, then you don't have to worry about the foam board showing on the outside. And let me show you what I mean. So do you see this is the back, the back side? It's inside of this so that you don't see any white on the sides, but it's still covering, you know, like I said, like 99% of this, of this piece. So that's the easiest way to do it. And I use the Cricut knife on top of my self-healing mat. It's so easy. It's just a few minutes to do that. All right, so let's continue doing this. All right, with this guy, So that hand is totally down. I just want to double check again if everything's still looking good, which it is. I'm now going to do this piece. And you see, you don't get any discoloration or um, like warping of the paper. So I really do like it for this project. Right, I'm gonna do this side. Let's do this arm. Um, so with this arm, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the majority of the arm and glue it down. And then we'll lift up and do this side afterwards. Actually, so I'm gonna do just this arm part right here. about right so now that'll give me more time to lift this up apply glue get it down so don't bend it so much you know make sure that you don't have your creases in here but there is some give and anywhere that you can't get glue down I wouldn't worry about it because we can always slide one of those glue dots in and at that point we're not really using that glue dot to make sure that it's this piece stays together it's just to keep it from flapping so because we've taken down the um the responsibility of the glue dot i feel safe in using that um all right so let's look at this piece let's glue down this one
much of it is down, yay. All right, so we know this piece goes right here. So let's do that piece. Let's do... Move this little thumbnail out. We'll do the thumbnail afterwards. Okay, so this guy. Okay, I'm gonna work on this. So I didn't put glue down on everything because I know that we can flip it back a little bit and add the glue in afterwards. So I'm gonna just put down this much and then we'll glue down this piece in a second. And that piece actually, let me see, we could do later. Let's do this thumbnail. Okay, so that's down. Let's get this piece. Um, okay, almost everything is down. We have just the face. Okay, so let's realign the face for a second. So when we redo the face, what we could do is we can do the eyes because then the eyes will tell us where the face needs to go. So, all right, let's do that. Just be sure when you're using the tweezers that you don't lose grip of it as you flip things over because you don't want your, like that eye to fall off your tweezers and then land face down on one of our glued pieces already. Because <laughs> that's definitely happened to me before and we don't want that to happen. That's stinky. All right, let's look at this. So I feel like the insides are pretty good right now. So I'm gonna do this. Looking so good. All right, this one. It's so awkward right here. Okay, let me see. So this is just regular cardstock. I'm gonna go back to the beacon.
Okay. Ah, looks good. All right, so we have just two pieces of the face left. The face is this piece right here by itself and then the face. So let's see. All right. Let's just make sure everything is in the right place. Okay, then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this piece first. Let's double check this piece. Okay. Now this piece, I wouldn't glue down because we can lift that up and put stuff down. So let's glue down before it dries out. This will give us time to adjust. and then I'm gonna use the glue dot for that piece. I don't wanna bend it anymore. Okay, then let's take this guy up. Same thing with this one. I'm not gonna put glue on this part right here and maybe not even the ear. I'm gonna get down the majority of the face though. So I'm gonna hold it like this. I got glue on my thing. Okay, so I got glue on my fingers for sure. I did that. All right, let's see. Okay, I like the way that looks. Okay, so let's. I put away my glue because we're done with this. I'm going to get out the glue dots. I know there's a few spots that we still need to do. And then we're going to do the foam board. We're almost there. Yay. All right, let's see. So now sort of like the, the touch test, you're kind of just flipping things up to see, okay, so this thumb. It looks good. I'm gonna show you. Oh, no. See, when I lifted it up, this little guy popped up. But right now he's pretty stable. Oh my God, look at the name. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, that little red piece never showed up again. Oh my, oh, I see it. It's on the floor. Give me a second. Okay, so this little guy is supposed to go like like that. So I'm actually because it's so small, I'm gonna use the glue gun. Oh no, oh no. Okay. 
it's always at the end. Okay, there. Okay. <laughs> All right, foam board. Foam board time, and then we are almost done. I can't wait to show you this piece because I love it. Okay, so let's put this down on the foam board. And so see, he fits perfectly on this board because I wanted him to be sandwiched in between these foam boards for shipping. So I actually, I think this would, later when I send it out, I think I'm gonna send it out like this so that it's completely in there. Okay, um, let's get out our little white pencil. Okay, and then because everything's curved, um, we don't, we want to make sure the foam board at the bottom here, that this is, we cut kind of like on the line so that it, it's not resting on the, on the cardstock. The good news is it, the cardstock can handle it. I'm using black glitter cardstock and it's thick so it can handle staying down and it's you know it, there's a few pressure points so it should be okay and that's another thing when you're looking at images is sometimes um you know like i'm thinking of like Minnie mouse for instance in her heels and sometimes if her foot's pointed the heel is standing up, so it's only on her tippy toes. So you have to be careful because that image will not stand like that. It's gonna fall back down for her tippy toes and her heel. So all of a sudden she's gonna be leaning like this. So you just gotta make sure that you think of, um, okay, how is it gonna stand? And, and it's okay, because you could just hang it up on the wall or something, so that's an option. But if you were planning on putting it on a table and having it stand, you got to think about how it will naturally fall, the weight. Okay, I think I got everything. Okay, so you see the white outline? Let me put this aside. So, I'm not thrilled about this part. That's what... It's always the small pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, my blade, I insert it, and I'm really being careful, and I'm cutting right here on the line because I wanna give it support. And I'm just getting rid of these pieces. It's a lot easier to cut in one stroke. So when your stroke ends, just end it. Otherwise, you're gonna get really jagged cuts, but see? And then I'm gonna continue this little line right here. And that one I cut really inside. See right there you can still see the white line and my my cut is inside the white line and these self-healing mats I find I feel like they're always on sale on Cricut's website it's so worth it I have it down and you can cut, you can glue, all that good stuff. Um, I even did, I don't know if you can see it, 
if you feel like you're seeing spots, it's because there are, there is yellow ink right here from when I just switched over my printer to sublimation printing. Um, but you know, better on my mat than on my beautiful countertop. <laughs> All right, I'm having a hard time cutting right here. Almost done. Okay, let me do the bottom now that there's more room. Okay, so this bottom, I really want to, you know, be on the line to give it support. making our way through this. just easier not to have those excess pieces. All right, we have just a little bit left. So I'm gonna try to cut this as carefully as possible. It's always towards the end that you start making mistakes. <laughs> I think it's just crafting law. Okay, we're almost there. And because this part right here is so thin, when you're pulling off the foam board, you also wanna just be careful. Like if you feel it's like here, I could feel it wasn't totally cutting. It didn't cut all the way through because it wasn't letting me pull it out. So just flip it over and make sure you have it so that, um, you don't rip apart the foam board and, and ruin its stability. There we go. Sorry, I don't know why I'm like, I feel like this one's just taking longer. Ta-da! All right, 
right, let's put the piece back on and make sure that, you know, we can trim before we put it down. Um, it looks like I want to cut, oh, I guess on camera it's okay, let me see. Yeah, I want to trim that part a little bit, the, the little ponytail. Let me get this down. Okay. I think everything looks pretty good except for this part. So let's see if I can fix this. I can see the white, Ugh, it's so thin right here. Oh, I hate this. I can't handle it. I'm tempted. You know what? I'm just going to cut it off right here. Because if this is supported, this little tip will be fine. Okay. The more I trim, the more, okay, there. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay, so now that we have this down, what I wanna do is I want to glue portions down. I think the easiest way to do this is maybe gluing down this side and then lifting this up and gluing down the rest of it like that. So I'm gonna lift this up right now and put down a lot of glue. So that's down, and I can see a little bit right there, which I don't love, so let me trim this really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over, lift up this hand, and do the same thing. So now I can kind of lift this up and glue down the rest of it. So I'm going to turn this over like this so that you could see it a little bit better, knowing that this part is, is glued down, right? So I'm going to get this corner in. And then I'm going to stick in a glue stick. I think I knew I had it somewhere. Okay. Lift this up some more. I'm going to get down this side of the board and the arm. Way. I think 
just peels off. Okay. Um, okay, now it's time to glue this down. It looks beautiful. All right, let's look at the back so you can see. So the back we went really in um, here and maybe a little bit here, but it's okay because it's still gonna be really, really supported. The majority of this is covered. All righty, let me know what you think. I'm in love with this thing. All right, check me out on Instagram. It's instagram.com slash the useless crafter. You're going to get a ton more pictures. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I have the sublimation printing coming up a whole series. So you can see that on, if you go to the, um, the main page of my YouTube, you'll see all my different series. So I have a series on when you first get your Cricut the first five days, although now it's extended to like seven videos or maybe eight videos just to show you the top things that it's quick i don't think any video is more than 30 minutes so 30 minutes a day for the first week and you can follow along with all my projects and you can make this this was not hard right um all right i will see you guys next time bye